And while you're busy doing your holiday shopping, thieves and scammers are getting creative with ways to make money off of consumers. Brian Webb shows us how people are now stealing from gift cards without even taking the cards with them. You're looking at a stack of gift cards that are completely worthless. Daniel Hall found out the hard way after buying them for employees at this Scottsdale CVS. When he opened it, he noticed the numbers were scratched. So he used the barcode to look online to see if it had been loaded or anything, and it had a zero balance on it. Daniel isn't alone. Gift card cloning is happening in several states. Con artists copy the magnetic strip, then put the card back on the store's shelf. When the card is activated, the grifter gets a notification and spends the money before the consumer can. When people buy the gift card, they are actually buying something that is immediately drained when the individual, when the person buys them at the checkout counter. A retail theft task force recently arrested eight people and seized thousands of cloned cards. Attorney General Chris Mays says the Grinches bought guns, TVs, and even Red Bull that they would turn around and sell to strip clubs. We seized more than 10,000 of these cloned gift cards uh, here in Arizona this week. Obviously, we know that's just the tip of the iceberg. CVS helped Daniel get his money back, so it'll be another happy holidays where he works, but he worries about others not so lucky. I have the ability to recover from that, but what about a family that, you know, is living paycheck to paycheck and they come in here and buy a card thinking they're getting someone a Christmas gift and it's not.